Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. And in today's video, I'm going to be using Chamel's main character energy again. This is a new collection that Chamel created for American Crafts. And I'm documenting some photos of my kids back in 2014, baking some cupcakes for their daddy for when he came home from work. So I've just pulled some of the pattern papers that will go nicely with these photos from the 12 by 12 paper pad. And you can see some of the papers have got this beautiful gold foiling, which works really nicely with younger children. So uh, the purple piece in the middle with the gold stars is the one with the foiling. And then the other two pieces, I've just torn strips 12 inches wide um, to layer across the bottom of the page. And I'm going to be layering them across the top and then tucking those photos in to the top piece. So you can see I'm just grabbing some water and running it along the torn edge. This just helps to, to, um, to curl that edge up and also to set it once it is curled so that it stays in place. So just going through each of the papers and curling them up. And you'll see as I do this, I do actually change the order of the papers and I end up with that purple piece at the top and the blue piece in the middle. I just feel that that works a little bit better. The stripy piece I chose because I just thought it worked so nicely with the colours that I've got in the photo. Amelia's got that gorgeous t-shirt on with the pink sleeves and turquoise top. And um, these colours just work beautifully with that. And obviously the cupcakes have a multitude of colours on because they were decorated by children. <laughs> so they've got the yellows, pinks and oranges in. So I just thought this worked really nicely. So just curling that last edge up now. And then I can get these all layered up together and stuck down onto the white cardstock. So this is where I change the direction. I'm much happier with the way that goes. Just trimming off that little bit of excess that I had there. I was uh, When I used these papers previously, I was a bit quick in stacking them all up and trimming off the branding strip. <laughs> and I didn't do a terribly good job. I don't think they were stacked up straight. So just using my wet glue to get these stuck down and you can see I don't go right the way to the top of the paper to the torn edge just so that it's easier to tuck them underneath and also tuck the bits at the top underneath once I get to that part. So just making sure that gets right underneath that turquoise paper so there isn't any white showing. And there we have the basis of the layout. So these are the three photos. As I say, it's two action shots <laughs> of my two. I love that photo on the right of Jane's just looking to check what Amelia's doing when she's cracking that egg there. <laughs> just think it's so sweet. He's um, quite a cautious boy. He wanted to make sure that he was doing the right thing. So just matting these photos onto some white scrap white cardstock just to give that border that I love and to provide some definition against the papers that are going to be behind them. And then I'm going to mat the two photos of the kids onto some patterned paper and leave the other one without any matting. So nearly done with these now. Just making sure that everything's straight. On to the last one. Sorry, this takes so long, doesn't it? <laughs> Just matting photos onto white card. But I really do think it makes a difference having that white border around the photo. So it's worth taking the time to do it. And having this wet glue means that the photo does slip and slide a little bit, um, which is good and bad. It means that I can reposition it if my borders aren't equal or even, but um, it does mean that it can slip while I'm trimming the edges as well. <laughs> So I just grabbed this scrap of heart, foiled heart paper that I'd used on a previous layout and just trimming that down to size. And as I say, I'm going to map the two photos of the children in that heart paper. So just gluing it down to the paper and then I shall trim it off. And then we can get on with embellishing the layout. And already you can see I've got the ephemera pack pulled out to the left hand side and on the right hand side just off screen I've taken one of the cut apart papers and cut all those elements to bits. There were tags and labels and all sorts on there and that will definitely come in handy while I'm creating this layout. So just working out where they're going to go. I toyed with putting this do what you love piece on the left hand side but in the end I do swap that out. Um, I love this tag. That's one of the tags that I was talking about, that lovely tag from the cut apart paper. So use that. It will get moved just there. I decide that it's better on the left hand side there. And then I find this turquoise teal 
tag to layer it up with. Now this Let's Bake title is one of the JD3D print titles that James created and I just thought that worked really nicely with a little whisk. Now they didn't use a whisk but <laughs> it's artistic license here. So just finding other bits and pieces to layer up around the photos. I love these word strips so I found the pink one that says having fun and this orange one that says love this life. And then I see this Instax um, frame. So I want to use that. I decide to layer it at the top up here and realize that half of it's going to be hidden. So I do trim that in half so that I've got the other half to use elsewhere, either on this layout or in a future layout. So just toying with which way up to have that. I definitely want a tab at the top to add my date. So just playing with that orange one at the moment. And then this captured card, again, is from that cut apart sheet that I'd cut apart, as well as these word phrases. So I'm just cutting out the one that says enjoy the moment. And layering these up, trying to decide where to put everything. Everything's just um, bits that I want to use really on the layout. I'm not entirely sure exactly how it's all going to go but just trying to build up a picture of how it could look. So you saw there, I cut that um, frame in half just to use the top half. And now I'm going to cut this. This was a cut apart piece again, and I'm going to cut this up. I just want that tab piece to layer up on the right hand side of that right hand photo. So just fussy cutting that out, getting rid of the orange background and then that can layer up to the right. And it's amazing how different it looks without that orange background. So always look at what you've got on your pattern papers to see if they're things you can use, or indeed in your ephemera packs, because sometimes you can trim bits off and it looks totally different. So just cutting the um, top off that little tab there, I decided to change it to the pink one. These are perforated and obviously when you pull apart the perforations, it leaves a jaggedy edge. Now I use that pattern paper to just fussy cut that little camera to add on the right hand side as another little piece of ephemera. And now I wanted to bring something in to tuck into these layers. So that's the other half of that frame and a little flower. And I decide to layer on that word strip that says love this life on top of the frame. Um, so I move that enjoy this moment piece down to the left hand side and I'm just sticking that right along the left hand side there. It just works really nicely and it brings that tealy green into that left and then I'm going to add the title which is Let's Bake and the little whisk. <laughs> I just think these are so cute. He um, did a really good job creating these and they're 3D printed so they are layered up so the word bake is slightly raised on the word let's. It looks really nice. So just adding the holes to those tags and then bringing in another piece of that cut apart paper and it says uh, something exciting. So I'm going to layer that up at the top there and I'm starting to build up exactly how I want it. So I'm going to add some foam pads to my photos and I'm just going to add them at the top of the photo so that they angle down. So they're stuck on foam pads at the top but then just straight to the page at the bottom. And I really like how that looks. It gives a different dimension to the layout. So just going through all of these photos now and doing the same thing, glue on the bottom and foam pads on the top. And these are the sticks to 6 by 12 mil foam pads that you buy on a roll. And I just trim them up into strips and put them in a plastic box. Not my idea, somebody at a local crop suggested it and it was genius. <laughs> so I do that now. I think quite a few of us do that after seeing her doing that at the crop. So getting that last photo in place and then I can work on adding all the embellishments around the page. So again some of them I'll be adding foam pads just to provide that height particularly this tag because it's on the same level as all the photos I thought that would just work but the tag behind it I'm just keeping flat against the page. So just moving along and sticking everything down. I decided that I wanted this to be more like a label at the top. So just trimmed off the excess piece, which I'll be able to use in the future. And then just having a fiddle with these other bits that I've got to stick to the top here. Trying to decide which angles. I like them all at wonky angles. So just working out exactly how those angles are going to go. <laughs> and covering up the um, journaling space on that captured 
card with the having fun word title. So now that frame's going down, just checking that it's down far enough that you can't see that it's been cut apart. And then adding that little camera at the bottom there. And then my date on that tab. And the date was the 15th of April 2014. I cannot believe that that was nine years ago. I still remember this day so clearly. It's funny, isn't it? You know, your memory can play tricks. You don't realise just how long ago it was. So just going through these foam phrase stickers now and pulling out some of the little gold accents to add around the page. So I've got a heart on top of that teal label on the left hand side, a star next to that having fun and another little heart at the bottom by that camera. Um, I realised that I hadn't stuck these bits down at the bottom so just getting those adhered as well. And then I find this little teal piece that says oh happy day and so I add that to the dotted teal paper. You can barely see it, but you can, and it just brings that collection of embellishments together at the bottom. So these are, um, gosh, what collection was it? The doilies that I had from an old collection. I can't, for the life of me, remember which one it was now, but I just thought that it would bring some more of that beautiful bluey teal into the layout. And because they're baking, doilies work really nicely, don't they? So just adding half of it to the top there. And then I want to use this other little piece somewhere and I end up with it next to that Oh Happy Day. It's just mirror mirroring. I've talked about this before in my videos. When I use something in one area of the layout, I try and use it elsewhere as well. So now coming in with our printables that we sell at Hey Little Magpie. Um, these labels are absolutely fantastic for layering and just adding little details around the page. So I'm going to add this to the right hand side underneath that for the record piece, just there. Just gluing that into place. And then I'll use my one inch circle punch and punch out one of the circle phrases that just says so happy. And I add that as a layer down the bottom there as well. So these can be bought as a printable that you print yourself through a downloadable PDF or you can buy them as a physical product and we send them to you. So they're absolutely fantastic. And I design all sorts of different ones for the different collections that we sell at Hey Little Magpie. So this is some wax twine that I'm just threading through the first tag and then through the second one. And it's just going to trail across the top of the page, as you can see there, just using my glue bottle to <laughs> hold it down while it dries. And then a tangle of thread at the bottom here with one of our flare badges over the top. This is one of the Swiggles background flare badges and the colour just worked really nicely with these papers again. So I decided to use that. Now I wanted to use, add a little bit of journaling. So I decided that this striped paper across the bottom was the perfect place for it. And it just says, we decided to bake some cupcakes for daddy when he got home from work. A look of concentration on both of your faces. And finally, I'm going to come in with some shimmers splatters. So first of all, this beautiful lilac, and then I shall come in with a pink once I've added the lilac splatters focusing across the top of the page, but I am bringing them down the sides and across the bottom a little bit as well. Just adding a bit more water. I mustn't, this is an inklings and I mustn't have left it to dry for long enough. So it was upside down in my drawer and it's all dried across the top. <laughs> so I'll have to sort that out another day. So this is the pink I'm just bringing in and that is the layout done. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do give me a like if you did. It helps me so much. Um, thank you for subscribing if you already have. Please do consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And other than that, I shall see you very soon. Thanks again. Bye.